The short hood, or front end, of the Amtrak P-42 is fitted with the latest, most advanced locomotive lights available to improve your visibility and help you to be seen by others along the right-of-way. There are twin front headlights, crossing lights, marker lights, and number lights. The electrical connections are color-coded for easy identification. The locomotive control MU connection has a black jumper and a black receptacle. It is the railroad standard train line multiple unit 27 pin jumper. The communications MU connection has a blue jumper and receptacle. This line is used for communication between the locomotive and the passenger cars. The head end power connections for the left and right side have red jumpers and receptacles. These carry the 480 volt 60 cycle AC power to the passenger cars. The air MU connections are also standard railroad connections. They are the brake pipe, main reservoir supply, main reservoir equalizing, actuating, independent application and release. Sand fill boxes are located on both sides of the locomotive, behind flush mount body doors. Sand traps are at the bottom of each sandbox. The couplers are AAR Type F and are configured for uncoupling from either side of the locomotive. The uncoupling mechanism is located behind the snow plow. The cab signal inductive coils are mounted behind the front pilot plate. They receive cab signal information. The air brake compartment is located on the right side exterior. The air brake compartment houses the Knorr electronic air brake equipment. It is designed to provide the latest electro-pneumatic control over the air brake system while maintaining the same functionality of conventional 26L equipment. The New York Air Brake Knorr Pneumatic Control Unit provides the air portion of the electronic air brakes. It is important to have clean, filtered air to help cool the locomotive equipment that is sensitive to excess heat. The right side of the Amtrak P-42 is fitted with air intake screens. The dynamic brake air intake screens are mounted directly behind the right side front entrance door. The equipment blower air intake, the combustion air intake, and the radiator air intakes are filtered through V-type screens. The 2200 gallon fuel tank has a fill rate of 300 gallons per minute. The fuel tank on each side of the locomotive is divided into two compartments, front and rear, for a total of four separate compartments. Each compartment has a supply and return shutoff valve. These valves must be open during normal operation. If one of the fuel compartments is leaking, ensure that the other compartments have room to accept the fuel from the leaking compartment. Close the return valve to the leaking compartment. Close the supply valves on the other compartments and run the fuel pump until the leaking compartment is empty. When the leaking compartment is empty, close the supply valve for that compartment and open the supply valves to the other compartments. Three digital fuel gauges are provided, one on each side of the locomotive and one in the radiator cab. The fuel level also appears on the integrated function display. The level displayed is approximated by adding the amount of fuel in the right front and the left rear fuel compartments and multiplying it by two. Four circular fuel level sight glasses are provided for each of the four fuel compartments. Remember, emergency fuel cutoff switches are provided on each side by the fuel fills at the diesel engine start station 
and on the EC panel in the operator's cab. The Amtrak P-42's trucks and suspension system were designed specifically for the new Amtrak fleet of locomotives. The locomotive frame rests on four secondary springs located on each truck. The truck frame rides on primary springs that are seated over each journal bearing housing. The bearing at each end of each axle transmits the weight of the locomotive to the rail. Axle snubbers help reduce spring oscillations. Horizontal, lateral, and vertical snubbers are provided for improved ride control. Tie rods connect the bearing housings and provide force transfer equalization. A unitized Knorr parking brake unit is provided that incorporates a spring-applied, air-released parking brake. A special tool is provided to enable you to operate the manual parking brake release handle by hand. The sand brackets and pipes are attached to the truck frames. Let's look at the air brake system components on the right side exterior of the Amtrak P-42. The number two, or right side main reservoir, is located directly behind the number two main reservoir final filter and the auxiliary air final filter. The brake cylinder cutout cocks and the parking brake cutout cocks are located on the right side of the locomotive. One of each can be found near both trucks. All cutout cocks are labeled on the car body. One of the battery boxes is located behind the fuel tank. The other is located on the other side of the locomotive. The toilet drain is mounted behind the lead truck. Three locomotive entrance doors are located on each side of the locomotive. One leads to the operator's cab. Another takes you to the radiator compartment. The third access door used for engine servicing is at the engine compartment. When entering any door, you must remember to place your foot firmly on each step including the top step to avoid injury. Caution, do not ride on the operator cab steps while the locomotive is moving. The horn is mounted on the roof above the alternator. There are three antennas, one for the Qualcomm system, one for the voice radio, and one for the end of train device. The exterior lights and markings on the number two or rear end of the locomotive consist of the rear headlights, the marker lights, and the decal. The number two end has the same electrical multiple unit connections as the front or number one end. The locomotive control MU connection has a black jumper and black receptacle. The communications MU connection has a blue jumper and receptacle. The head end power connections for the left and right side have red jumpers and receptacles. The air MU connections are also standard railroad connections. An entrance door located at the rear of the locomotive allows passage between units. The fill ports for the two rear sandboxes are on both sides of the rear entrance door. Much of the left side exterior of the Amtrak P-42 is identical to the right side. Here we find the number one or left side main reservoir. The twin tower air dryer used to condition the air is located in line between the number one and number two main reservoirs. Cutout cocks are located on each side of the twin tower. There are a couple of areas that are unique to the left side of the locomotive. Caution should be used around the dynamic brake exhaust vent. Hot air is present during operations such as self-load and dynamic braking. The last component we come to in our overview is the heater air conditioner unit. 
It is mounted under the cab floor on the left side of the locomotive. Well, that completes our overview of the new Amtrak P-42 locomotive. We hope that you've enjoyed discovering what's new about this powerful addition to Amtrak's fleet. With the continued support of both the operating department and the mechanical forces in maintaining Amtrak's high standards of operations and maintenance, the new P-42s will provide many years and millions of miles of service.